Okay, how we doing out there? Happy Labor Day to everybody today. Today's mission is get the ladder out, go hook a water hose to that spigot, and drain my 275 gallon emergency water tank and refill it. So I'm going to get the ladder set up and the garden hose and hook it up and start draining it out. So I'll be back in a little while. Okay, I got the uh, hose hooked up. Got the valve open. It's draining away. It's one of those things I've been uh, forgetting to do every day until, you know, 10 o'clock at night I think of it. So that water's been up there a little over three and a half years. And now, it's going out following obviously in the water hose. And it's going down here. The other side of my driveway outside. It's an absolutely beautiful day. You can see the water down there coming out. That's gonna go water my grass. So, while this is going, I'm gonna go return a few phone calls and uh, I'll be back when it's empty. More to come. Changing out the emergency water supply. Okay, here's an update on the water tank. It's still draining. I can't believe it hasn't drained yet. <clears throat> it's been a little over an hour. It's still going. So, hooked up to this 100 foot hose. It's going all the way down here. Feeding out my grass. Actually, it's coming out pretty good. It might be a 300 gallon tank. I don't know, it's quite a bit of water. So in a minute, I'm gonna, uh, after I show you the water, which looks nice and clean and smells perfectly fine. I don't imagine why it wouldn't be. I can't see if I'm catching it. There it is. So my grass is like an that's going all the way down into the woods. So while I'm waiting for that to uh, finish draining, I'm gonna set up the ladder and get me a flashlight and go have a peek inside the uh, water tank. I'll show you that too in a minute. And then I'm gonna uh, hook this up to the, uh, the water system. And while the sun's nice and shiny, we're gonna pump that sucker full of water again. So I'm gonna go up there and uh, clean that stuff off. All right, I'll be back. Okay, here's what inside the tank looks like. I'm going to dump some bleach in here. Put some water in it, let it soak overnight. And tomorrow is another day. So I got a gallon of bleach I'm going to dump in here. And uh, probably fill it up about 25%. And let it sit overnight and I'll come back tomorrow. That's it for now. Doesn't look a whole lot different than when I put it up here. These were my storage tanks down by the road. Alright, I'm going to go dump some bleach in. More to come, but not today. Alright, well that's as clean as that's going to get. That was all clay residue from filling this up at my neighbor's house. It hit the three-quarter mark and then he was sucking nothing but clay. So that's been in there for three years. That's the best I can do. Alright, i got to... Get the water hose in here, tie it down so it don't come out, and fill it up. Okay, come down off the ladder, shut the valve off, got the water going. At about 10 after 12, that pump supposedly pumps 10 gallons a minute, so we'll see how long it takes. Be back when it's full. He's all cleaned out. Okay, I gotta run up there and dump some bleach in. I forgot. Damn it. All right, back up the ladder I go pumping pretty quick. Man, that thing's filling pretty quick. That water pump is on non-stop. Got 810 on a float coming in. 2037 here. 31 amps going into number one. Always go the wrong way, never fails. 29 amps on inverter number two. So there you go. 60 amps. Coming in. That's how much it takes to do the water pump. 
thousand on that one and eight forty on that one. All right, all systems a go. Next thing I'm going to do on that water tank is hook up uh, a cheap little pressure pump. Probably get one of those Harbor Freight tiny ones with a little uh, tank on it. Plumb that into the system. Oh, water pump shut off. And then in the case of a water pump failure, I'll have a little switch over here on the wall and a couple of gate valves and I can turn the pump on and that'll run the whole house. It'll go through the water heater all on through the interior. 300 gallons last a long time should your main pump fail. And I'm not going to mess with that pump. That's down 200 feet. They had a special truck come in with a crane on it that did that. 20 foot sections all the way down. Alright, I'll be back in a while. Stop. Okay, time to go hit the switch. It's, uh, I think I turned that on at 10 after 12 and it's almost 25. So, under 25 minutes. Alright, I'm going to go shut that thing off. That's fantastic. Okay, there's the tank all filled. Went up, put some bleach in it. Just gonna have to wait to uh, figure out the plumbing and go get an electric pump. So, that'll be next. That's all for now. Emergency, emergency water supply is refreshed and sanitized. All right, that's it for now.